Hi guys, welcome to the Kitchen Muse YouTube channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing an updated recipe for my F4 roll. I'll be using a different vegetable from my previous video, and this is the king of all recipes for F4 roll that you need. If you have this one, you don't need another one. Let's get into it. <music> For this Sephora recipe, I'll be using some shoko leaves. This has been cut and washed. I'll be using some palm oil also. I'll be using some smoked catfish and some dried prawns. I'll also be using assorted meats. In here, I have goat meat, I have pomo, and I have shaki. I'll be using a combination of tata shade, tomatoes, onions, garlic, and fresh pepper. I'm using some stock cubes, some ground crayfish, and some salt. I'm going to start first by blending my peppers. I'm going to blend them very roughly, and then I'll show you the next steps. I've blended my peppers, now I'm going to start by adding the palm oil to the pot. When the oil is hot, you add in the pepper mix. If you want an oil-free version, just skip out the oil and then go ahead and add the pepper mix to the pot. I'm going to add in my locust beans. Oh, I didn't mention this before, but I use locust beans for my f 4 roll. It gives you a really good flavor. It adds a really nice depth of flavor to f 4 roll. So I'm going to use some. I'm going to add it now. I'm going to add my dry prawns also so that it can soften a bit more and then my seasoning so I'm going to add two stock cubes to start and some ground crayfish and salt Eforero is pretty easy to make. You just have to get the base right. This is the Eforero base. This is where you add all of the things that you're going to use. And once you get this right, your Eforero is going to be perfect. And of course, the vegetable also. I'll, I'll share my tip for that with you in a minute. So I'm going to let this cook. I'll cover it and let it reduce sort of for a couple of minutes. Just before it completely boils down, I'm going to add my meat so that I can soak up some of the juice from the base. If you're using dried fish or smoked fish that is not completely soft, you can add it at this point so that it would cook with the rest of the meat. So I'll just cover it now and let it continue doing its thing. Drying up nicely now. Don't worry if it looks too dry. Vegetables tend to release their own juices when they come in contact with heat, so it would add some more liquid to the Eforero and give it some of that juice. I'm going to add my vegetables now. Also going to add my fish. The pot is proper full at this point so I'm not going to stir it. I'm going to let the steam from the pot wilt the vegetable so that it shrinks and then I'm able to stir it and it will also put the vegetable in that time. So I'll just leave it for about five minutes now and then check on it. See how the vegetable has wilted. It's easier this way to then stir it without your vegetable spilling all over the place. Look at the juice from the leaves. You would have thought the soup would be dry, but no. It's perfectly moist. And this is exactly how I like my forero with a, with a bit of the peppers showing and not too much vegetable, especially when I want to eat it with rice. But no, I'm serving this with eba now. Eba and a forero are a thing, by the way. 
maybe a Yoruba thing, but still a thing. So my soup is now ready. I'm going to make my eba. This is how easy it is to make efori roll. If you want an oil-free version, just keep the part where you put the oil and start with your pepper mix, add the meat and just continue the remaining steps and you will always end up with a perfect efori roll with oil or without oil. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up and leave me your questions down below and I'll respond. And please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that. I'll see you in my next video. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.